The Graal and You. An analysis of weapons with projectile travel time in regards to latency and physics. Let's begin with some footage. Here we have me shield Mick Frey train using the Graal spike thrower on your average server. Notice how long it takes for the shots to hit the target, if they even hit at all. Let's fast forward a bit to some more examples. I think you get the point. The inherent amount of time it takes for the shot to hit the target on servers like this is beyond that which can be accurately compensated for by humans. This is especially true for moving targets, which is all of them. Now let's try the other weapon with travel time. The Geth Plasma Shotgun. This lag between shot and hit makes those weapons, including in a way the Kishuk, useless, in every definition of the word. But, in discussions among acquaintances on the Bioware social network, I found many who swear by these weapons as incredibly useful, powerful, and who use them constantly. Some of them even consider them OP. This flew in the face of my rather negative experience with these weapons. I concluded that these people were either bullshitting themselves or insane. There was no way that these weapons could be used frequently in the game. The shots fired were dropped so much from gravity alone, if this was reality, that nothing, at all, could be hit. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. What happened? What changed that made these weapons usable all of a sudden? Well, it appears that it has everything to do with the latency of the server and hardly anything to do with the weapons themselves. At one point I wanted to get some clean footage to accurately measure the time it takes for shots to travel. I hope to prove, using the power of AP physics, that these projectiles could not even hope to hit anything except the floor. Instead, I found out just how to make these weapons effective. It's actually rather simple. All you have to do is host the game yourself, something that is very easy to do. This prevents any and all latency based lag on your end. The problem is, that even a relatively small amount of lag, one that would be perfectly acceptable with normal weapons, destroys the usefulness of these weapons. There is lag between when you shoot, by letting go of the LMB, and when the server registers that you have shot. Then there is a travel time lag where the projectiles are traveling through the air. And finally, a lag between when your shots appear to hit and when the server registers that they have hit. This means that an enemy that is 5 meters directly ahead of you could end up bashing your face in from the left by the time the server registers your shot where the enemy was. But, I still want to do some calculations. Let's look at some of the footage I showed before. Right here. Let's throw up a timestamp to get an accurate time. That was 0.4 seconds just to hit a target no further than 3 meters away. Firebase Dagger is on the planet Onterum, which has a surface gravity of 0.82 g. This equates to an acceleration due to gravity of negative 8.041453 meters per second squared. Because perpendicular vector velocity doesn't interfere with each other, we can assume that the initial vertical velocity was 0 meters per second. Using the kinematic equation d equals vit plus 1 half at squared, we can calculate how far the projectile would drop over the course of the travel time. This comes to a total drop of 0.64331624 meters. 
That's right. If this lag was in fact the actual travel time of the projectile, it would have dropped over half a meter before it hit the target some 3 meters away. In fact, the projectile would only ever be moving at 7.5 meters per second upon impact. Even with spikes, I doubt that would do much damage to armored soldiers. Now let's look at the actual travel time on a locally hosted server. At this distance, the Graal is still very effective. That said, it still takes 0.5 seconds to travel some 20 meters. That's a velocity of 40 meters per second, rather slow considering that bullet velocities are around and over 200 meters per second, and that's today's technology. And even then that still comes to a drop of 1.00518162525 meters during that time. I'm sorry, even if the spikes from the Gaul were somehow aerodynamic enough to generate lift, air friction would slow the shots down even further from its already pitiful velocity. This isn't the 21st century we're dealing with here. This is motherfucking 2186. We have the goddamn mass effect. We have reapers and shit. We have a network race of nearly sentient AI built by a race of aliens with dat ass. The shots from the Grohl should be moving at least 5 times as fast as they currently are. But I digress. Let's continue with an analysis of the GPS. The GPS is as awesome as it sounds when used. A triple barreled shotgun developed by an alien race of robots. Awesome. That said, it still takes 0.467 seconds to travel some 20 meters. That's not much better than the Graal at 42.8265524 meters per second and a drop of 0.876876 meters. Oops. My mistake, I thought this was science fiction. Something that has to at least remain plausible and based on real world science or an extension thereof. Whatever. Let's move on to the third and final weapon that has travel time. The Kisha Harpoon Gun. This weapon is also very powerful when used, but it is no match for the Black Widow or her smarter, sexier sister, the Valiant. The Kishuk is better, with a travel time of 0.266 seconds over 20 meters, a velocity of 75.18796 meters per second, and drop of 0.2844905 meters. Still, that is a very significant drop for such a short distance, and this is supposed to be a sniper rifle. In conclusion, these weapons suck glorious amounts of ass on your average server with a high latency host. These weapons are, however, very effective on low latency servers or on a local host. That said, these guns, the Graal, GPS, and Kishuk, all cannot possibly be effective if the laws of physics apply, which they should, given that this is a science fiction setting. That does not change the fact that they are very powerful and effective when used correctly in game. Still, the knowledge of how effective they actually are in physics is rather jarring for the science nut side of me. Perhaps the mass effect is maintaining the bullet in a straight line, but that cannot be. The mass effect only reduces the mass of the projectile during the initial acceleration of the projectile, not once it's left the barrel. This also brings up another, fundamental flaw in the physics in that, because of the mass effect, conservation of energy laws are broken. Energy is seemingly created from nothing, something that, can, not, happen. Fact. No argument. But I will get very, very deep into that subject in a future video analyzing the power of dreadnoughts in the Mass Effect universe. As for the weapons mentioned in this video, making them more realistic would reduce the travel time of the shots to be nearly unnoticeable. This would remove the inherent flaw in these weapons, making them many, many times more powerful than they already are. This would bring up immense balancing issues by making these weapons simply overpowered. I don't hope that these weapons become realistic. I can overlook something like that for the sake of fun. I only hope that they become slightly more realistic than they currently are, specifically so that the obvious failure to obey the laws of physics is less apparent. For a shot to drop less than 10 centimeters it has to have a travel time, in earth gravity, of less than 0.146 seconds. This is something that I could consider reasonable for a shot across an entire map. That is, of course, if you wanted to be realistic and obey the laws of physics. 
Bioware isn't changing its stance on its so-called artistic integrity and I doubt they will be changing their stance on the laws of physics anytime soon either. Oh snap. An artistic integrity joke. I sure haven't heard millions of those before. Wiggle 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 yeah. Wiggle 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 yeah. Wiggle 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 yeah. Wiggle 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 yeah.